Kangaroos and their relatives like wallabies are often considered Australian counterparts to hooved herbivores like deer and antelope. But as we know, kangaroos evolved to hop across open terrain rather than gallop on hooves. The reason that they never developed hooves is because marsupials as a whole have a strange reproductive cycle that affects how their front limbs can evolve. After a pregnancy of only a few weeks, marsupials are born in a less mature state than other mammals and must continue their growth by climbing inside their mother's pouch and attaching themselves to one of her nipples. Kangaroos, therefore, retained front legs that can be used for climbing as newborns while specializing in how they use their hind legs. The need for marsupials to climb at birth prevents their front legs from becoming highly specialized, like the wing of a bat or the hoof of a deer. Even the semi-aquatic water opossum of Latin America swims using only its hind legs and tail, with its front paws lacking webbing. Most marsupial species tend to have similarly shaped front paws, regardless of their lifestyle. However, one marsupial is a noteworthy exception, the extinct pig-footed bandicoot. As its name suggests, it possessed hooves that resembled that of a pig's or a deer's, though it only had said hooves on its front legs. The pig-footed bandicoot was able to evolve to have hooves because bandicoots tend to be less reliant on their front legs at birth. After birth, a bandicoot joey will often stay attached to its mother by a stalk that is part of her placenta and will wiggle into its mother's backwards-facing pouch without using its front legs. Because of this, bandicoots have the most unique front paws of the marsupials. Though it is still debated, some have speculated that the way marsupials give birth is a primitive method. It is said that the simpler marsupial placenta is not able to prevent the mother's immune system from rejecting her young, meaning that they must finish growing outside her body. All marsupials have this peculiar reproductive cycle because they are of a separate evolutionary lineage from other mammals. So despite their differing appearances, the thylacine and the Virginia opossum are relatives, while other live-bearing mammals are their more distant cousins. These cousins of marsupials, called the placental mammals, comprise 95% of mammal species and include humans. Because there are so few marsupials, and the perception that they have a primitive form of pregnancy, marsupials have sometimes been thought of as inferior mammals. Regardless of whether that is accurate or not, marsupials represent why evolution can be so fascinating, with some species having familiar forms and others being entirely unique. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.